In this video, we are going to understand how to add or update row in Google Sheets from new form response. So every time you receive a new response to any form builder application, now you want that if that particular information is already there in your Google Sheet, then it should be updated. And if it is not there, then it should be added as a new row. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be type form and your action application will be Google Sheets. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page. On the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And as I do that, we have reached all applications page. These are the various products of Pabli and I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now we have reached the dashboard on the right hand side. There's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Here you can give any random name. What is my objective here? My objective is every time through any form builder application, I have received a new response, a lead. Then I want to first check if that lead already exists in my spreadsheet. Here I'm taking the example of a Google sheet. Then if it exists, then it should just update the value. And if it does not exist, then the value should be added as a new row in my Google sheet. So I'm going to name it as add or update row in Google Sheets from new form response. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important modules. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as for this integration, my trigger application will be Typeform as I'm using Typeform as the form builder application. You can use any other form builder application as well. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be new entry. Let's click on connect. As I do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Typeform account. I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Typeform. As I do that here, we have to provide the authorization. So I'm going to go down and click on accept. As I do that, we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Typeform and Pabli Connect are now connected. Here we have to enter the name of the form. So before I do that, let me take you to my Typeform account. So these are the various forms that I already have created. So here we have this appointment form. Let's click on this. And now here we have got the four different fields, first name, last name, phone number and email address. Now, if you wish to add more fields, you can always do that. Just click on this plus icon and you would be able to add a new question. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to enter appointment. Let's click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we can see it is written that now do a test submission in that application in order to capture the response here, which means that now we are supposed to fill up a form, a mock form so that we can understand if Typeform and Public Connect are now properly integrated. So I'm going to take you back to Typeform. Here I'm going to click on publish. As I do that, we have received the link of the form. I'm going to copy this and open this in a new tab. As I do that here, we have to fill in the information. So now let's say that my information here is first name is smart. Then the last name here is user. Then we have the phone number and then we have the email. Address. So once I have entered, you can see the form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here you can see that we have received the API response. So let me take you down and yes, here you can see we have received the first name, last name. Then here is the last name. Then we have the mobile number and here is the email address. Now, what is my objective? That once I have received the response, first it should check whether this particular response already exists in my Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my action application here as Google Sheet. Let's click on this. 
and the action event here would be to look up spreadsheet rules. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. I'm going to select add new connection, sign in with Google. We have to provide the account. And once done here, Pabli Connect Sheets wants to access my Google account. This is absolutely secure. Let's click on allow. And as we do that, you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect are now connected. Now here we have to enter the name of the spreadsheet. So it is new leads and since there was only one sheet, so it has already been captured by the system. Let me show you the sheet that I have created. So this is the new leads spreadsheet. There's only one sheet. The name is sheet one. Here I have got four column fields, first name, last name, email address and contact number. And I already have got two contacts. Now taking you back to Pabli Connect. What is the lookup column? So my lookup column here is the email address. So I'm going to take C as my lookup column. Now, what is the lookup value? So it is the email address. So I'm going to click on this. Here you can see the previous step. So I'm going to look for the email address here. Here it is. And then I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now you can see that I have received the response and this shows that this particular user already exists. Now this method with which I have added the information is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration. Now since this particular user already exists so I'm just going to update the row value. What if this user did not exist then I will have to create a new row. So now since I have got conditions I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is router which is going to help us in providing conditions. Here you can see it is written that router step allows to execute different actions based on the filter conditions you set. So this is root 1. Here I am going to rename this root and I'm going to write update contact. So let's click on update. Now I'm going to set filter and action step. So here I'm going to go to Google Sheet step 2 and here I'm going to go to row index. Now if this row index exists then this workflow should continue. So let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the status which is a success. The condition is true. Now if this row index is already there which means that I just need to update the cell value. So I'm going to click on add action step. Here I'm going to choose my action application as Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event would be to update row. Let's click on this. Click on connect. And here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Now once done here we have to select the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet. You can see the sheet has already been selected by the system. Here we have to map the row index. Let's go to step 2. This here is the row index. Then we have to map the first name. So I'm going to go to step 1. And here we have to map the first name which is smart. Then the last name here is this is the last name. Then the email address. So here I'm going to look for the email address. And then we have to enter the contact number. So again, let's look for the contact number. Here it is. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So you can see I've received the response. Let's take you to my Google Sheet and no new row has been added because this particular value has been updated. Now I'm going to go ahead with my root 2. So here I'm going to rename this and I'm going to make it new contact. Let's click on update, set filter and action steps. Here I'm going to go to step 2, row index and here I'm going to make it does not exist. So if the contact doesn't exist, so there won't be any row index. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see the condition is false. If the condition is false, which means if there is no row with that value, then it is going to be Google Sheets once again. Here it is and this time I'm going to add a new row. Let's click on connect. So here again I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Now let's select the spreadsheet. The sheet has already been selected by the system. You can see that. Now the first name. So here the first name will be. So again I'm going to go to step 1 and I'm going to go down and this here is the first name. Then we have the last name, so let's go down and this here is the last name. Then we have the email address. 
so let's look for the email address here it is and the final thing is the contact number so here i'm going to go to type form and look for the phone number so once done let's click on save and send test request you can see that I have received the response. So as I click on save and send test request, this is the response that I have received. And here you can see that it would be added like this. Now, this is just to show you how it is going to be added as a new row here. Now, I'm going to check this integration in real time. So now I'm going to take you back to my type form account. And here, let's click on share once again. So I'm going to copy this link once again and open this in a new tab here. So now let's enter my first name. So this time, let it be demo. Then the last name here is type. Then we have the phone number and then we have the email address, which is demo type at pablitudes.com. Now, as soon as I click on submit, what should happen? Since this is a new user, then the value should be added to my Google Sheet. And yes, you can see it has been added as a new row. Now, let's say that the value already exists. So I'm going to just copy this and here I'm going to go to type form once again, copy this link, open this in a new tab once again, and I'm going to just change the name. So let's say it is demo and the last name is type one. Then the phone number is demo type at pablitudes.com com demo type at pablitudes.com i'm going to click on submit now as i do that what should happen the value should be updated and here you can see instead of type type one has been written which means only the value has been updated so this means that our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done i'm going to close this let's take you up so here our trigger application was a form builder application here i have taken type form where the event was new entry then our action application was google sheet where first we had looked up the spreadsheet rows and then our action application was router which is a feature by pabli that helps you in putting conditions through filters here we have got two routes First, we have update contact. Here we had applied a filter that if the row index exists, then only this workflow should run. If it exists, then the action application will be Google Sheets where the event would be update row. And the second one is new contact where let's understand the filter and action steps. Here, if the row index does not exist, then this workflow should continue. And here it would be to add a new row in Google Sheet. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.